I had gone to Carnegie Mellon and Stephen Bochco was, uh, had just done Hill Street and was getting ready to do uh, LA Law and I had been writing spec screenplays and some teleplays and so when he got fired off of Hill Street, which people don't really remember now but they fired him at the end of the fourth year, um, he caught up on all this crap that kids had sent him to read and, and so like two years after I sent it to him he called me up and said, hey, I read your thing and come on in here. And so I went over to 20th where he was and he was brutal and, and also um, very encouraging at the same time. I remember distinctly, because I went home and wrote it down, uh, that he sort of threw the script across the coffee table back at me and said, you know, this falls apart like a cheap suit, but I think you're a writer. Which was that one of the great things It's like feeling you know, extraordinarily encouraged and also like, what do you mean it falls apart? Like, yeah. um, and uh, he had sort of offered me, I mean, I, you know, again, this is a long time ago, but he had sort of said, yeah, I got this show, L.A. Law coming up. Maybe you could get a script or something on that. And, uh, and then it didn't get made. It, they couldn't agree on a budget for a couple of years. So it sort of sat around. And he gave my script to uh, Glenn Karen over at, for Moonlighting before Moonlighting went on the air. And I read a pilot for it and wrote a spec. 